Hello again, this is Doug. We're gonna start today's video with a traffic jam at the NS Diamonds. Got a Decatur in Eastern Illinois locomotive sitting right there. He's waiting for a signal because at the Diamonds, got some Norfolk uh, Southern action. Stay back into the yard. That car right there, Norfolk and Western car. Built date on the side says September 1974. Still in use today, still in use today. Again, this is Norfolk Southern that's backing into the yard. They've been doing a little switching operation here. Looks like he's putting on the brakes again. Locomotives are down there. Two NS locomotives, and it looks like one or two UP units. We'll see you in a moment. Hopefully they get down here. That was a sudden stop. Let's see what they do now. Do they go forward or do they go back? Okay, this train's on the move again. Looks like they're departing, not backing up anymore. Coming over the diamonds, they're pretty far out now, so uh, wouldn't bet on it, but I'm gonna guess that they're done backing up and uh, hooking up more cars. There was a long wait. Meanwhile, that locomotive's still waiting down there. He should be next. I would hope. These cars have uh, coils in them, metal coils. That's an old Conrail car.
car is loaded with coal. I don't know if you can see it on the top peeking out there, but both these cars have coal in them. All right, this, this car here, this hopper, this yellow one, Old Illinois Terminal. Boy, there aren't many of those left. An Old Illinois Terminal uh, car. Can't see the built date on it. But man, Illinois Terminal has not been around for a long time. It was taken over by Norfolk and Western, which later became NS. It's a long one. Now I know why they waited so long, putting a lot of cars on the end here. That's an empty uh, auto rack. one apparently is an empty one as well. I don't see any vehicles inside of it. Hard to tell on that one. These look fairly new. Built July of 2022 and this is September of 2022. So these are all brand new. Nice and clean, at least for now. More empty auto racks. They even sound empty when they hit the... Uh, diamonds there, but I can see through them and they're empty. Alright, there's a grain hopper. Norfolk and Western NW. They merged to become Norfolk Southern back in 1982. So that's an old one. Getting some classic uh, cars on this train. Changing hands here. really a long one.
surprised I haven't seen a DPU. It did have four locomotives up front. Maybe that was enough. This is truly a mixed rate, let me tell you. Kansas City Southern Lines on that one, followed by Canadian Pacific. BNSF behind it. That Canadian Pacific had some vehicles in it. There are vehicles in this southern Pacific car. See it through there. Look like SUVs. Southern Pacific, another one that hasn't been in business a long time, for a long time. Ferromex out of Mexico. It's empty. Another old Southern Pacific coming up here next to the end. Southern Pacific again loaded with vehicles. Can't tell what they are. Look like small pickups maybe. We are finally coming to the end. Now our friend here, the Decatur in Eastern Illinois locomotive, he finally gets his chance to move. Just a short trip across the Diamonds down to the CN yard where he's gonna probably pick up some cars there or down at Archer Daniels Midland, which is a little further away. But he's running light. the diamonds he finally gets to go. Decatur in Eastern Illinois is a, a short line based here in Deca Decatur, Illinois. Runs all the way over to Indiana. And off he goes. If you think that single locomotive was short, well, here comes another short one. Nice little salute there. Thanks for watching. Please take a look at one of my other videos and remember, stay on track.